Alright everyone, Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's Rough Draft time! This week, after months now of toiling through subpar formats, we finally get a good one. This one isn't 9th edition or 8th edition or god forbid Kamigawa. We actually get to play a sweet format in Triple Ravnica. One of... In, the original Ravnica block is known as one of the all-time great draft blocks. So this pack, Hunted Dragon, not very good. 6-6 six, six, Flying Haste sounds sweet, but you got to give your opponent 3-2-2 two, two White Knight creature tokens. Don't really want to do that. Uh, Drooling Grudion is fine in a token-y deck if you're like Abzan tokens. Uh, Fight of Flancy is this part of a cycle of enchantment auras, which are like spells. But I think the best card is probably just this Last Grasp. Creature gets negative 3, negative 3 for 2 mana, so we'll take that. So, in the original Ravnica, a little bit different than the Return to Ravnica block. Return to Ravnica, we had 5 guilds in Return to Ravnica, 5 guilds in Great Gate Crash, and 10 guilds in that forgettable third set, <laughs> Dragon's Maze. In the original, we get 4 guilds in the first set, 3 more come in the second set, and then 3 in the third set. So we have Golgari, uh, we have... Selesnia, we have Boros, and we have Demir right now. So we're looking to be in one of those guilds and possibly splash another guild. So be uh, green, black, and splash blue, or green, black, and splash white, something along those lines. If you can be in two guilds, you want to be in two guilds, essentially, is the goal. Uh, so Stinkweed Imp is probably the best card here. Empty the Catacombs returns all creature cards from the graveyard to your hand for both players. Since we already got a black card, Stinkweed is just very strong. None of this other stuff. Slesnia Evangel is actually very good too for the token deck, but I'm just going to stay on black and take this Stinkweed Imp. It basically has Death Touch, essentially, the old school Death Touch where it triggers after combat, and then it, when it dies, you can uh, dredge it back for five. So Mausoleum Tourniquet is also fine. Is kind of a bad Grave Digger. So four mana, three, two. You get a creature back from your graveyard, but your opponent gets to choose. Golgari Signet's also pretty strong. I think I'm just going to stick with taking decent creatures and take the Mausoleum Tourniquet here. So we're pretty black so far. Ooh. Well, Compulsive Research is the nuts. Draw three, discard two unless you discard a land. Consult the Necro Sages is also decent. Either make someone, either a Mind Rot or a Divination, you get to pick. Greater Moss Dog is okay, but doesn't compare to the other two. I'm going to take the Compulsive Research. I think it's more powerful. And then, uh go from there. Videlkin Entrancer actually is kind of sweet. There is a mill deck in this format, and Videlkin Entrancer is a decent part of it. You can just mill someone out two cards at a time, and it's a little hard to kill. Demir Infiltrator is also fine. Can't be blocked. 1-3 for 2. And Demir Aqueduct, the bounce lands are so good. So it's one of those three. I might take the Entrancer and head towards like a Demir mill deck. I don't know how highly people will pick this card. Aqueduct is better, and Demir Infiltrator might be as well, but this is a hard effect tree place, and it can win the game on its own. I'm going to take Entrancer, just to make sure we get it. I think we can replace the Bounce Land, we can replace the Signet. I don't know if we will find a replacement for Videlkin Entrancer. Here, some interesting stuff. Another Bounce Land and Rot Farm. Tattered Drake, a little expensive. Siege Worm is really good if you're in a token-y deck, so you can convoke it out. I'm probably just going to take this Clutch of the Undercity. Returns a permanent to its owner's hand and does 3 damage. And you can transmute it. So we can transmute it to get our Videlkin and Trancer if we really want to. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Now it's Drift of Phantasms. Nice defensive flying body. There are some good flyers in the format. Or Civic Wayfinder. Um... 2-2 two, two for 3, you can search for a land when it enters the battlefield. If we're blue-black, we probably, the best color to be is green as a third color, so I might just take this over the Drift of Phantasms. Ending up bug isn't bad. Uh, now we get... nothing? Strands of Undeath is okay, Tidewater Minion, Untaps a Permanent, which I guess works well with Videlkin and Trancer. 4-4 four, four Defender, Zephyr Spirit's one of the, like, Kamigawa level bad. 0-6 for 6 when it blocks, you gotta bounce it to your hand. I guess we'll take Tidewater Minion. Ooh, Flight of Fancy's fine. Better than these other options. So, there's this whole cycle, there's like a Lightning Bolt version, 
There's one that makes tokens uh, of enchantments that act like spells. So this gives the creature flying, but when it enters the battlefield, we draw two cards. So that's the main reason we'd be playing it, is for the drawing cards. This is another one. It's a mind rot, essentially, on an enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, target player discards two cards. Might take that. I don't think empty the catacombs. Hmm. Unless we're just hating it out, because we're going to try to mill people, and it would be bad in that situation. Yeah, we'll, we'll put that in the sideboard. Warp World. We can take Induce Paranoia, put it in the sideboard. Not great, but... One thing you'll notice in Triple Ravnica, lots of red cards in the pack near the end. When it gets down to the bottom of the pack, usually like 80% of the cards in the pack are red cards. Along with Zephyr Spirit and, well, this isn't that horrible. Gives a target creature and each creature that shares a color with it, plus one, plus one, which makes it good with tokens. So the Slesnia theme is kind of a token convoke theme. So you can take advantage of spells like that, the Radiance mechanic, a little bit if you're Selesnya. Coal Hauler Swine isn't the absolute worst. I mean, it's not good, but... Well... Our, hand, our deck's looking okay. Not great, but okay. Can we open something sweet? Survey says no. Jeez, this pack's bad for us. Where's Master Warcraft? You get to you play it before attacks, get to choose which creatures attack, and get to choose how and which creatures block. Roofstrucker right is fine. It's a two drop. We're gonna need two drops. Signets are fine. I wish they were at least a little on color. I guess we could take the Selesnia Signet, because it has green in it. Veteran Armor is decent in the token deck. Uh Selesnia Sanctuary. Also, just all right. I'm going to take Roofstalker right. Ooh, man. That's a Faith Fetters. Faith Fetters is so good. One of the best removal, maybe the best removal spell in the whole set. But I don't think we're going to be in white. We might be able to splash it if we get Signets or Bounce Lands, but we don't want to be Esper. We want to stay in our, in our bug colors. If we're not taking that, what are we taking? Dusk Mantle? Knows one. Fist of Ironwood is very strong. I guess we could just take Fist of Ironwood since we're going to be in green. Or we just take Fates Fetters and hope that we can find a way to splash it. Well, yeah, we'll take Fists. Stick with what we know we can actually play. Char. Four damage to something, two damage to you. We're taking Demir Signet. Another Clutch of Undercity, another Stinkweed Imp, and a Bell Tower Sphinx. Whenever a source deals damage to it, the source's controller puts that many cards from their graveyard to, or from their library to their graveyard. Stinky might be better though. Yeah, we'll take Bell Tower. It does work if we're gonna mill people out. So far, we only have the one Videlkin Entrancer though, so maybe milling people out isn't that realistic. We also were pretty light on fixing. Uh, now we need to choose between a sweet green 5-drop and a Demir Infiltrator. We still don't have much fixing. Moss Dog is okay, but I think it's worse than either of the other two. Let's take Infiltrator. We might... Ooh, Tunnel Vision? There is a combo with Tunnel Vision. <laughs> I'm tempted to take it in case we get a Junk Trawler. Or, I think that's what it's called. Tunnel Vision, uh, you name a card, target player reveals cards from their library until they reveal the name card, then they mill all the revealed cards and put the the name card on top of their library. Junk Trawler puts a card from a graveyard on the bottom of the library, so you can Tunnel Vision, name the card with that you put on the bottom of the library, and as long as there's not another copy in the deck, which if you get a rare or something there shouldn't be, you get to mill all except one card in your opponent's library. Probably just take Consult the Necro Sages though. Wow, another Fists? Jeez. Alright, we'll take it. I mean, it doesn't fit the theme of our deck that well, but it's just a really good card. It's It makes two 1-1s one -ones for two mana. Also gives a creature Trample. So, we need more fixing. That's near the top of our list. How good the mill plan is, 
I'm not sure. Our deck doesn't look all that milly. Um, geez, Boros Signet is completely off color, but it is a Signet. Either that or we hate out a veteran armor. We'll take a, the Signet. We could use it to splash something. Here, it's either Tidewater Minion or Stasis Cell. Uh, Stasis Cell's pretty bad. We'll take another Tidewater Minion. I'm going to take this rolling, uh, rolling Spoils. Not so much because it destroys a land, although hitting a Bounce Land is sweet, but because it kills a bunch of 1-1 tokens. Not a bad sideboard card to have access to. All these cards are bad. We'll take Muddle also for the sideboard. Take Peregrine Mask, gives a creature flying first strike and defender. Uh, doesn't really matter. Neither of those cards are playable. Neither is that. Alright, so it looks like we are a bug deck. We don't really have any bombs. We don't have as much removal as I would like. Have a little bit of card drawing. Some Fists of the Ironwood, which are fine, but better in uh, green-white. And we are rewarded with, hmm, well, Golgari Signet is good, Remand is playable-ish, Concerted Efforts are rare, beginning your upkeep, creatures gain flying until end of turn if you have a creature with flying, same for fear, first strike, double strike, land walk, protection, trample, and vigilance. Golgari Guild Mage is probably what we want, sack a creature, return a creature from your graveyard to your hand or pay four to put a plus one plus one counter on something. It's either that or Golgari Signet. I'm gonna take the Guild Mage. Guild Mages are just very powerful and limited. I don't know if it has any super specific synergy in our deck, but it's just a solid card. Who? Whenever you sacrifice a black creature, pay two life. If you do each other player sacks a creature, whenever you sack a green creature, you gain two life. Do we have any ways of sacking things though? Not really. Not, well, I guess the Guild Mage sacks a creature, but that's about it. I guess we could get more. And it's a 2-2 two, two for 4. We can just take another Mausoleum Tourniquet. Or a Golgari Rotworm, which is a sacrifice effect. Or another Stinkweed. Peel from Reality also isn't bad. Yeah, let's take Stinkweed. Stinkweed is good. Here, I think it's an easy compulsive research. I would take another Stinkweed. Mind Moil, Foil. Whenever you cast a spell, put the cards in your hand on the bottom of your library and draw that many cards. Eh. Would play a Dusk Mantle too if we got one, but compulsive research it is. Still not getting much removal. This Clinging Darkness doesn't really count. Null stones, way too expensive. I guess we just take Golgari Signet. So probably not going to play Boros Signet. Our mana costs are not that crazy. Nothing good to splash. So our deck is probably going to look a lot like this. If this is good enough, I don't know. I'm really disappointed that we're blue-black. And we don't really have much removal. That's killing me. Now we get... Well, guess another Civic Wayfinder, probably. Blood Funnel, not good. Non-creature spells cost two more, but you get a or two less, but you sack a creature whenever you cast one or you counter it. Yeah, we'll take Civic Wayfinder. Uh, Flight of Fancy, Consult the Necro Sages. Yeah, we'll just take Consult the Necro Sages. Aura Touch Mage, when it enters the battlefield, search for an aura that could enchant it. If it's still in the battlefield, put the aura on it. Lore Broker, each player draws a card and discards a card. If we're really going to win by milling people out, maybe that's alright. Also, if we get our opponent empty-handed, it's not bad. Uh, we'll take Elves of Deep Shadow. Maybe we just... can we dump the green all together? And just be straight blue-black? And then we're really almost completely dependent on winning with Mill. Uh, we'll take this Induced Paranoia. Four mana counterspell, if you spend black on it, you mill four uh, mill cards equal to the spell's converted mana cost. I guess we can play both of those. We could just play like this. 
and be literally a blue-black mill deck. Peel from Reality is pretty decent. Returns a creature we control and one our opponent controls to their hands. We don't have any super great synergies for it. So it pretty we don't have any like great enter the battlefield abilities or anything. So it's pretty much just saving a creature. Um take another muddle. Take Rally the Righteous, seems like it could be a blowout. Untap target creature and each creature that shares a controller a color with it. And they get plus two plus oh till end of turn. Uh, on the other hand, Conclave's Blessing is not as scary because it's plus zero plus two. Take this Alley Cat. Take the Wojak Siren and an Alley Cat. All right, we're gonna have to cut one card. I guess we could cut Golgari Signet. Our mana costs are not that extreme, and maybe that's our deck. Like, a bit of removal, some defensive creatures, couple counters, bunch of card draw, and try to mill people out with Videlkin and Trancer. Problem is, if they kill our Videlkin and Trancer, well, it is what it is. Let's give it a shot. I don't think we even want to play green mana. 10-7. This is just double black, sack a creature, return a creature. So it is a good way to get back our Videlkin and Trancer. All right, we're going to run it like this. Blue-black mill, I guess. <laughs> and we'll be back with round one.